In 1940, the Slendo machine emerged, an innovative exercise machine designed to provide more efficient and comfortable workouts. Its goal was to cater to the needs of those facing health restrictions or injuries, preventing them from engaging in high-impact physical activities. In the 1940s, the Reducomatic gained prominence, a portable sauna that became popular among those seeking a convenient and fast way to lose weight. It was believed that this sauna had the ability to melt body fat, allowing users to achieve their desired weight loss without the need for intense physical effort. During the 1940s, leg rollers gained significant popularity as gym equipment for toning and strengthening leg muscles. These rollers consisted of cylinders made of wood or metal, equipped with handles at the ends, allowing users to perform rolling movements up and down their legs. In the late 19th century, German physician Gustav Zander developed the Zander's Horse Simulation Machine, an innovative exercise equipment. While it was considered a breakthrough at the time, today we know that this machine is not as effective as once believed for fat burning and weight loss. During the 1940s, there was a significant increase in the popularity of the Reducomatic, a portable sauna, among those seeking a quick and easy way to lose weight. It was believed that this sauna had the ability to melt body fat, allowing users to achieve their desired weight loss without the need for intense physical effort. In the 1960s, portable saunas gained great popularity as a convenient and affordable option to enjoy the therapeutic benefits of saunas. These saunas were relatively compact and lightweight, which allowed users to easily assemble and disassemble them in their own homes. In the 1960s, the Twist and Tone was introduced, an innovative home exercise equipment. This device consisted of a circular disc with pedals, allowing the user to stand on it and perform twisting movements, rotating the body from side to side. These movements provided toning and muscle strengthening exercises. In the 1970s, there was the emergence of using electric currents in small baths as a technique to stimulate blood circulation. This practice gained popularity due to the supposed ability to improve blood flow and reduce swelling in the legs and feet. The nautical treadmill, commonly known as a treadmill, is an exercise equipment that allows the user to walk, run, or cycle on a stationary bike without moving from one spot. The first nautical treadmill was developed in 1952. The human hamster wheel is a type of exercise equipment composed of a large wheel made of metal or wood. This wheel quickly became popular in Europe and the United States as a home exercise equipment and in fitness gyms. In the 1960s, the slimming belt was introduced, a product advertised as an easy and quick solution for weight loss and waste reduction. Consisting of a wide rubber band with adjustable elastic straps that wrapped around the waist, the belt promised effective results. The first version of the mechanical bull was developed in 1920 by an engineer named Weldon Bascom. However, it wasn't until 1928 that this invention gained popularity. Since then, many fitness gyms and functional training studios have started incorporating the mechanical bull into their training routines. The Weeder exercise machine, invented in the 1970s, is known for its sturdy metal structure and for offering a variety of equipment and accessories for different types of exercises. It stands out for its ability to provide high-intensity and diverse strength training workouts. In the 1950s, the Vita Master emerged as an innovative exercise equipment that combined various features into a single apparatus. This equipment included an exercise bike, a treadmill, and other training resources, providing users with a wide range of options for working out. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, the Las Picas was a widely popular exercise apparatus. Designed to provide a wide range of movements and positions, this equipment allowed users to perform twists, bends, stretches, and other exercises. Its versatility made it attractive to those seeking variety and flexibility in their workout routines. The rowing machine, invented in 1925 by American W.G. George, was designed to replicate the physical activity of rowing in a boat. This equipment provides intense cardiovascular exercise with low impact, simulating the natural movements of rowing. Since then, the rowing machine has become popular as an effective option for cardiovascular training and muscle strengthening. In 1928, 
the exercise machine known as the Corridor was invented. This innovation allowed people to exercise in limited spaces, simulating the experience of running in a safe and controlled environment. This machine provided users with the opportunity to engage in cardiovascular and fitness activities, even in locations with space constraints. During the 1950s, there was a development of a wide variety of exercise devices, many of which were designed to mimic natural body movements. These devices presented a diverse range in terms of size, shape, and complexity, ranging from basic gym equipment to more advanced apparatuses. In the 1970s, the electric facial rejuvenation mask was introduced to the market. This mask consisted of a helmet-like device that fit over the head and emitted gentle electric currents onto the face. It was believed that these electric currents helped tone the facial muscles and reduce the appearance of wrinkles. This innovation was an attempt to provide a non-invasive method for improving facial appearance and rejuvenation. The Chin Reducer and Beautifier was a widely popular exercise device in the 1950s and 1960s. This device consisted of a small padded strap that was placed under the user's chin, along with a spring that was attached to the strap. The aim of this device was to strengthen and tone the muscles of the chin and neck. During the 1970s, exercise equipment for fitness centers underwent a significant breakthrough, becoming increasingly advanced and technologically sophisticated. These innovative machines started to become commonplace in fitness centers and gyms. The Glidomatic Exerciser was an exercise device introduced to the market during the 1950s. This equipment consisted of a treadmill with a design similar to a lawnmower, featuring a continuously moving belt that moved back and forth. Display of one of the challenging training techniques employed by French instructors at a renowned fitness conditioning institute located on the outskirts of Paris. In the 1950s and 1960s, the retro-style roller massager enjoyed great popularity as a widely used equipment. Comprised of a roller with protrusions, this device could be powered either by electricity or by manual hand movements. Rosemary Andre, a renowned ballet dancer and body culture expert, showcasing a series of exercises using a treadmill. It is highly likely that the three women are participating in a stretching session at a gym. Stretching plays a crucial role in any exercise program as it contributes to increased flexibility and joint mobility, as well as helping to prevent injuries. On September 21, 1932, Maureen O'Sullivan was caught using a rowing machine in her own residence. The actress was dedicated to her physical training, taking advantage of the benefits of rowing to strengthen her muscles and stay in shape. We've reached the end of this thrilling video that depicted a fierce competition between a runner and a cyclist at Luna Park in Berlin. This event attracted a crowd of enthusiastic spectators. If you enjoyed the footage and would like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share your comments about the photos. Your opinion is important to us.